Hey everybody and welcome back to Investment Honey where we talk about various crypto projects. Before we begin, I want to let you know that I am not your financial advisor. I do not provide financial advice on the channel and I don't even encourage you to invest. But what I am going to do is share with you my own personal opinion and views on the projects discussed on the channel. So looking at Prime Ace, okay, and so they do have a uh, pre-sale, you know, on a pink sale. So we can see that this is their fair launch page and we got some badges, Safe Food Audit and KYC. So as far as the audit, it did pass with some issues, medium severity issue on centralization and then an unknown severity issue on authorization through tx.origin which is just the verbiage that they use in the audit i'll also leave you a link in regards to why you need to be paying attention to centralization anytime it's pointed out in an audit so we can also see uh, this is upcoming pre is going to start in just over a day and 10 hours from the time we're doing the video we see the socials here and primates is integrated into web 3 utilities and bet to earn and allows players to make money off of their picks for football games played in leagues all over the world including the Premier League, uh, La Liga, and the ongoing World Cup 2022. We've got some things checked off here. DEP test net available, big buy event, showing contest, KYC, CFU, and audit. All things indicated up here. Big marketing, CMC, and CoinGecko fast track after listing, and a private sale. Okay, so we can also see because this is a fair launch, there is a soft cap. The soft cap here is higher than a lot of other projects uh, that we typically look at on the channel. This is sitting at, 50, at 100 BNB instead of 50. And uh, so we can also see here that uh, we got that soft cap reiterated again at 100 beans. Okay, and liquidity lock of time is going to be 365 days after the pull ends. And then we got the tokenomics, not tokenomics, but token metrics. Okay, so that looks good. And moving on over to the main uh, documentation for the project. Let's take a look you know, at their allocations. And so we can see what's going to what. 22% going to pre-sale, 13.2% going to liquidity, 15% going to betting, 10% to coin flip, and 15% going to centralized exchange listing, 10% to marketing, 9.8% to reserved fund, and 5% to the team. All right, then also looking at the roadmap. So this is basically it for phases, no timelines here, but we can see in phase one what they've already completed because they're checking it off. Phase two, we can see DApp testnet, Pancake Swap Launch, CMC, CoinGecko application. Love the fact that they are stating it's an application and not a listing. So they know that they need to apply first and then they are stating through listing, right? So assuming all goes well with the application. So hyping and chilling contest. Phase three, we see DApp mainnet launch, listing exchanges, NFT collections, marketplace. And in phase four, enable stake to earn and many games are going to be released. Let's transition over to the main page. So we can see the links up here in the navigation bar. You got a, a button here to go ahead and join the pre-sale. So it's not linked to pink sale and it should be. So if the team comes across the video, they should definitely do that. And uh, let's see, they also had a button for the DApp unit as well, but we're not going to look at that. We can see Primace features. Okay, so you're about to embark on an amazing soccer betting journey while using the Primace DApp. Are you prepared to use your forecast of profit before every match? Pick a score and a number of tokens. You'll be able to withdraw the rewards right after the match ends. So what I do also want to point out, what I find kind of confusing is that when you click on white paper, it's just going to anchor you down uh, to here and then if you see, like, there's nothing here that indicates that the white paper is here, but it takes you down to, on its own, it's an anchor link, takes you to this section of the page. The only way you can access it is by clicking on more here, which if the team comes across the video, this needs to, this is just weird for me. You know, um, there needs to be a dedicated button for the white paper. So I don't even know why it's anchored here when it really should just be a link that goes just straight to your your white paper okay because this is just you know as you know I, and i take a look at a ton of projects but you know this this was just weird you know so i think that's just the best way i can describe it you know so i think this needs to be identified as this is the white paper link otherwise you're just kind of like feeling your way around like you know what do i do okay so um but either way Moving forward, we can see upcoming matches, you know, so they're indicating that, you know, on their page. And then we see the tokenomics. So, again, what's going to what? Uh, this is just what we already talked about or what we saw already in the documentation. And then we see the roadmap again. So, as far as the roadmap is concerned, you know, we just, we need timelines, you know, when is this stuff going to be completed? And indicate, you know, what's already been completed, you know, what's already done. They already did that in the white paper up here. But again, you're not consistent because it's checked off here indicating what's already been completed. But you didn't do it here, you know, so some way to check simp off, you know, cross it off, whatever you want to do. But the, the, what you communicate here 
you know, also needs to be synonymous with what you're communicating here. All right. Now, granted, 90, you know, I think 95% of people are probably going to go ahead and visit your website, and the rest are going to go ahead and maybe check out. Maybe you might get 5 to 10% taking a look at your roadmap, but it's always a much higher percentage of people looking at your main website as opposed to documentation. But again, there needs to be consistency there. So, um, what's currently in process? You know, is it going to be a V2 on the roadmap? All these things need to be indicated. And then when I take a look here in the in the footer of the page, the white paper, you know, this is not linked to anything. Okay. These are not linked, so link these, you know, because somebody might want to actually, instead of going up to the full to the top of the page, may actually want to go ahead and access the white paper, you know, from here, and it's not linked. So you might actually lose somebody wanting to take a look at your documentation because you didn't go ahead and take time just to go ahead and link it, you know. So, um, but yeah, with that said, that's going to do it for me, you know, on this one. Um, remember, guys, you know, we don't encourage you to invest in the channel, but we do encourage you to get informed. So make sure that you do that. Um, the the key one of the key purpose foundational purposes of the channel is to make sure that your goal is to operate from an informed standpoint. So make sure that you do that. So, um, but, but yeah, with that said, if you guys, you know, are not yet subscribed to the channel and you're coming across this video, make sure that you consider subscribing because these videos are time sensitive. As you can see, we got a timer here and whether this timer lapses and then we're looking at, you know, a launch token, we look at launch tokens, we look at early sales. So make sure that if you want to be aware of projects uh, that we're talking about on the channel, when they're released to the channel, make sure that you go ahead and subscribe and turn on those notifications. So thank you so much for watching. And with that said, you all enjoy the day.